Hi guys, so we're back with another video. <laughs> Hi guys. Today we're gonna be trying the Impossible Whopper by Burger King from Burger King. Um, a little, a little background. So me and Ashley are both pescatarian, so we don't eat meat, just strictly fish and eggs, dairy. She's about to have a year on the pescatarian diet, and I'm gonna have soup coming up. burger looks like really flat i don't know the patty i don't know if it's meant to look like that but i think it's just because it's a little hopefully it tastes it better is, it's kind of dry i mean i, I don't see like uh, i don't know it doesn't look like how it looks in the picture advertisement yes. it's not the same okay. first bite This is really dry. Yeah, really. my ketchup. Wow. I almost um choked on the bread. <laughs> <laughs> but this is that I know of the first fast food restaurant that has like impossible meat, so I see how like if it were hot, it could taste. From my good. memory of what like this tastes like, it tastes the same. It's just like really cold, mm -hmm. and they put no love into our food. It's like it doesn't have. Oh, that's <clears throat> According to the lady, it tastes just like me, but it's really cold, so I can't even tell like that. No, it does. What's your favorite um really dry. <laughs> your favorite fast food fry? Fries, um Wendy's. Really? Is it Wendy's? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's Wendy's. McDonald's all the way. No, not McDonald's. These like nearby McDonald's but Wendy's. I feel like Wendy's used to be my favorite fast food fries. But they don't have any options for them. Noodles. Options. Guys, comment below your favorite fast food. Okay, so to spice it up, we thought it was a good idea to ask some of our friends some questions. To ask us some questions. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, oh, what would you rate it? Um, for Impossible Burger, I would rate it nine out of ten. If it was a, I don't know, compared to a burger, because I know what a real burger tastes like, this would be like a six yeah yeah definitely but i um i would give it an eight around an eight ish it's not it's definitely something that i like to like it's accessible so i like that about it like i know i could get it anywhere but i've had better but it's definitely good if it weren't cold i know that it would have been so much better yeah. these fries are yeah so burger king fries is now is now where it's at oh we haven't tried this oh. We got much of this, but by the looks of them, they look terrible. <laughs> what is this? Ew! <laughs> what are we eating? So that's um. <laughs> it has like seasoning. Oh, I don't know. It's weird. It tastes like the ones that you buy in Target that they go in the freezer and then you still have the taste of like the freezer. You know what I mean? I when you fry, saying. like when you buy fries or you fry, whatever. Yeah. Like the taste of something is not defrosted. Mm -hmm. yeah. Alright, so the first question is, what are your pet peeves? Okay, so I have a couple. One too many. But I would say my top three are I when people walk slow. Like being a New Yorker, I hate when people walk slow. Um, When people chew really loudly. Like I know sometimes it's uncontrollable, but that just, I don't know and ignorance ignorance is definitely one of like i don't like people who 
don't even try to learn don't even try to understand people that's just throws me off i don't know how to necessarily deal with them yeah i have a lot of pet peeves too um well the chewing is one of them um when people tell me what to do well now when people tell me what to do when people are bossy and are always telling me what to do uh, what's another one i have so many but i can't think of all of them <laughs> Oh, when people snore, oh my god. I feel like 90% of people snore and I don't know why. Maybe I'm going to be like that person who snores in the future. Or who snores extra because you... Because I, I hate when people snore. Yeah. That's possible. The next one? Uh, the next question. Your phone keeps talking. <laughs> oh, do you believe in ghosts? I do believe in ghosts. I'm not going to say the story or why, because it's going to sound a little bit, yeah, maybe next time, because it's going to sound a little bit crazy. Yeah, I definitely do too. But something that we had mentioned before is that, like, when we say ghosts, we feel like we we see it more as spirits. I don't know if there's a difference, but that's, like, kind of what we think of when we think of the word ghost. Yeah, not, like, ghosts, like, when you see see movies. movies. Yeah, evil (laughs) (laughs) ghosts. We have but. this thing <laughs> where we like finish each, finish each other's sentences or say things that we're thinking at the same time, and we don't even know why we do it. It happens do it. way too way too often. <laughs> what? Okay, what is your favorite place in the city thus far? I don't even know what's my favorite place in the city. I don't actually have one favorite place. So. What would you say your top three? <laughs> or like like restaurants or say. like, I don't know. I don't know. Say, yeah, you can say restaurant. I don't even know, actually. I love rooftops, so like, I've been to a good amount of rooftops. So every rooftop I've loved so far. So anything like nighttime that I can see the view of the city. The city is beautiful at night. Daytime, it's not beautiful. It's not the best. So I love seeing the view from up. And I'm afraid of heights, so it so mm-hmm. Like I am. Yeah. I would say, I don't necessarily know either. Now I think about it, but <clears throat> a place I remember going to was wow. South Street Seaport. And right now, it's not what it used to be. But it was definitely, like, just seeing the water, the bridge, just everything about it, the story surrounding it. It just felt, something about it felt refreshing. Favorite quote. My favorite quote is, have a written down she who dreams conquers the world and my all-time favorite quote definitely love that mine is um a drake quote so i've heard <laughs> but it's kill them with success and bury them with a smile the reason why i like that one is because i've always been a very private person so i don't like to like share stuff um and that including kind of like my accomplishments so i feel like people don't know what my next move is and they probably don't see my potential because of how shy i've been growing up and one day it'll just i'll just flourish in a way that like people didn't see coming so that's definitely it about that one um our next question do you think everything happens for a reason definitely everything happens for a reason i feel like everyone has a you do have control you are the author of your life but I, i feel like everyone has a purpose and everyone has lessons to learn you might meet a certain person just for a year just for three years you might have someone in your lifetime for your whole lifetime everyone is there for a reason i also feel like we kind of everything happens for a reason like things are kind of written but i also think that we kind of control like the saying of like you're the author of your own life i think we have a kind of in a way of control of when we meet people or when they enter when like we allow to let them enter our life and stuff like that but yeah because some people you might not always remember but you might see someone and then three years later meet them in another what well, that story sounds so familiar to me yeah but <laughs> we can get into that but yeah i definitely think everything happens for a reason i don't necessarily i don't really believe in coincidence i think yeah there's no such thing as coincidence. if you pay attention to your life and everything that happens even like being late to work happened for a reason there's signs everywhere yeah so everything you learn a lesson from every single thing so everything is 
Definitely. And I feel like learning that has made me live my life differently because I don't like that example. Like if I'm late to work, I don't see it. Which I'm all the time. <laughs> it's probably not now the reason. Like, but yeah. <laughs> like, that's just you. <laughs> yeah, but if like for example, like say in a situation, I'm rushing to get to work because I'm late and something happens to me. It's like it all could have been prevented if I would have just understood that I was late. You know. Yeah. Sure. What was our next question? Um, or oh, let's do if you can travel anywhere anywhere in the world, where would you go? Um, I would like to travel the whole world. Super scared of flight uh, not flights. Planes. Planes. <laughs> so I tried to fly, you know, the closest uh, possible. But if I could go anywhere I would go right now I would say like Thailand. For me Paris. It's, it's not like for me there's something magical about it it's not i don't know how to explain it's not thailand because thailand just sounds amazing and it's not i don't know like hawaii, hawaii. oh <laughs> it's, not, it's not hawaii but to me it's just magical there's just something about it that for a really long time i just feel like i have to experience it in person it's so romantic yeah everything about love it. love of my life take me yeah or me. what if i meet the love of my life in paris like just you just never know no, then you're gonna have to travel to Paris every time? No, you can't pay for those prices. No, I'm saying oh. you're gonna have to travel to Paris. <laughs> Titanic. That's like so cliche. But as you guys kind of tell by the place that I would like to travel, I'm a hopeless romantic. After that, I would definitely say the Great Gatsby, so just call me a Leo fan. Definitely. I'm definitely, yeah. So Leo movies are like my top three. So the Great Gatsby, Titanic, and Catch Me If You Can. Have you watched them yet? No. You, I, mm -hmm. I think I told you before you should watch it. Yeah, it's on my wish list on Netflix. I just yeah. have it. Catch yeah. me if you can. I really love it. It's just like the. That might be my I second. I think it. Titanic now has moved to number three. But like, Catch me if you can. Oh, I also like the Sex and the City movies. That's definitely. I like them. Like, I feel like it's a movie that I can see over and over and not get tired of. Oh, you have a type of man that you like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't really have a type. Like you can, I don't know if you look, you, would be, you can't tell. Like oh, that's someone Ashley would like. I don't even know what I like. I just but know what I don't like. What you don't, yeah, I know wow. what I don't like. I know. I don't know what I like. I know what I don't like. I don't like yeah. disrespect. Like being respected. Um, I'm not yeah. I don't have a physical type. I mean, I do have For physical, physical preferences. Like maybe preferences. Height. Yeah, preferences. I definitely have physical preferences. But that's not like, it doesn't have to be. Yeah, sorry. Know, inside that box. But um, type, I also feel like it's similar to her. I know what I don't like. But I would say type, someone who is definitely out there, like kind of like adventurous, like oh, not someone who's so, yeah. who take risk. And that would be tough. Another, mm -hmm. yeah, that's definitely one for me because i'm adventurous um even if i'm scared of something if you push me enough i'll do it um someone who's Sometimes firm it takes the right person to but gentle firm and gentle because i'm like tough but, but sensitive, sensitive. <laughs> <laughs> my birthday is march 19 so you already know it's coming up yeah happy birthday to me like, <laughs> i mean you can start saying happy birthday she um, takes gifts already. Just I'm turn. Oh my god, I'm turning twenty two. So that means I'm twenty one. I mean, I would have said. Um, I'm twenty one. My birthday is December 9th, nineteen ninety eight. I almost didn't make it to the ninety eight family, but oh wait, that makes it sound like you almost. <laughs> <laughs> almost didn't make it i thought you didn't play your 21st birthday <laughs> okay never mind so no, you get it because yeah like, i get oh, it okay. but it's not like that um and zodiac signs i'm a sagittarius she's like oh, i'm a pisces sagittarius could you guys have guessed that just by like our personalities we're, we're like zodiac fanatics mm -hmm. yeah fanatics. well maybe i feel like people could tell can you tell i mean i i wouldn't I don't know much about Sagittarius, so I wouldn't be like, oh, that person's a Sagittarius. I wouldn't have thought you were Pisces off the bat. I think, like, through our conversations, yes, but, like, off the bat. 
I'm good at hiding my emotions. I feel like Sagittarius are the type of signs that you can't just... Every Sagittarius is different. They say, like, the one common trait is, like, the adventure and, like, being, like, the life of a party. But, like, I'm not the life of a party. Like, I'm not the life of a party. I'm the life of a party and I'm comfortable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can be. And if I'm comfortable... And like I said, like as I get older, I less shy, so I definitely have that in me. But I know people who've been like that the whole entire life, and that just hasn't. Yeah. No, I see it because now I've seen more Different Sagittarius. Sides. If you could shop online or in stores for the rest of your life, where would you shop? Um, I was gonna think online because it's more convenient, but online you don't get what you see. It's like you order one thing and you get a whole different thing. In stores, you get tired, but it's a whole activity. Absolutely. So I would say in person, because I don't know what I'm going to get. I'm the opposite. I still think online. And you know why I think online is because in stores, in stores, you get tired. There's the pressure. For some reason, correct me if I'm have wrong. Have you ever returned something in stores? No, I know. Um, have you ever returned something online? Like, yeah, I just recently started worlds. returning stuff online because it's like, am I really going to keep every single, like... Oh, yeah, and I have that bad tendency. Like, if something I, doesn't fit me that I ordered online, I'll easily just give it. Like, I won't even care about getting my money back. It's different, yeah, it's definitely different. But just, like, for me, in stores, like I said, correct me if I'm wrong, but I feel like store mirrors are meant to make you insecure. Like, I feel like when I look at myself in a store mirror, especially for over 21, I didn't have the worst lighting. I just don't oh, yeah, do. like how it looks. When I order stuff online, the thrill of like waiting for the clothes, trying it on, and there's so much more variety online. Yeah, you know? but then like how like your life would be on a thread. Like whenever you order something for an event, every birthday I have like the craziest like story. I order a whole bunch of things and then I get nothing. I don't know. Every, something happens. They yeah, lo- I lose the items. From now. I lose the items. I still don't have a birthday outfit. Damn. I don't have that many days left. You don't. You really don't. No, I um, Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but I would still say online. Definitely. Because, well, personally, I just, the thrill of it, everything about it, just, I don't know. I really love it. And it's, to be honest. What is another shopping for? I online shop. Like, window shop online every day. Window shop online? <laughs> window shop online. I think there should be a different day. name. Someone should come up with a different name. You you should come up. Like, window shopping only... Well, it's window shop in person. Okay, okay. I think we're going to say that it's window shopping Screen online. shopping? No, no. no. I, I, I can come up with a name. <laughs> we'll think um, about it. But, Target, Walmart, oh, about Target, Walmart, or Marshalls, or TJ Maxx. Oof. Those are all great stores. Those are the That's type hard. of stores that you go like, oh, I'm going to go to TJ Maxx. Because maybe I need something. Because I need a scarf. And you end up with... But not even. I feel like you don't. You can't go to TJ Maxx thinking that you're going to you're gonna find something. Because like last week they could have pencils and this week they have nothing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. But, um, I don't know. but I would say TJ Maxx. Because yeah. Marshall's like... I don't know, not Marshalls. I was say I was gonna say um, Target is good for like home stuff. And as much as I like buying stuff for like home, mm-hmm. as much as I like buying stuff for home, I prefer buying stuff for closet. No, say the thing with Target is that you go for well all of them. You go for one thing and the fifty. But Target, I feel like lately has been overpriced. Oh yeah, it has. And my experience is not as pleasant as it once was in Target. But TJ Maxx, like. You said, cause you could find a lot of designer goodies too. Yeah, you go to the right TJ. Maxx. You, yes, especially I don't know if that's everywhere, but New York, you got Gucci. And TJ Depending Maxx. the area, you just gotta know. Like if you're in a better area, you'll find better stuff at TJ Maxx. I don't know if that's intentional. If it is, then it's messed up. Yeah, but I really think that's it is. the way. But you could definitely find some. If you have everything, like it's a one stop shop. I never tried Target clothing. Maybe Not I have good. in the past, but I don't I've tried like the I've tried their sweaters before. But they're overpriced. My mom buys them, but it's like she only gets to wear them a few times and then they get little like the little what yeah. the, I don't know what they're called. Guys, well we're gonna be speaking like, out of Spanish, you know what with you. Yeah, what is that called? It's not even bolitas in Spanish, it's something else. It's like no, it gets like no idea. Yeah, that you need to have like a bracelet to take it off. Like I don't know how to I don't know. I don't know what that is. You must be raising. <laughs> no, like, a, you got to no, use a razor to take it out. Yeah. But, yeah, I would say TJ Maxx. Because Marshalls, well, the ones that I've been to, 
I feel like TJ Maxx has better stuff than Marshalls. Mo yeah. Marshalls. I know for some reason, if they're the same, end. yeah, they're the same store. For some reason, TJ Maxx has better height. Um, mm -hmm. More height. Okay, guys, so. To conclude. <laughs> nah, I, can't. I was going to say that too. No funny. I was going to say this concludes. This concludes our video. Thank you guys for watching. Please don't forget to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let and us know if you want us to do anything. Have any no. suggestions? Feedback. The number you have dialed has been changed.